Damon, have you heard of this company before? <laughs> yes, Mission Bell, great company. Then you're going to love this. If you want more content like this in the future, and let's be honest, you do, then go ahead and smash that red subscribe button right now. Hey there y'all, what's up and welcome back to our channel. Shark Tank is an American reality TV show where entrepreneurs can come and pitch their innovative ideas to persuade an investor to, well, invest in them. Shark Tank has invested in many ideas now and has also got the return to them, but sometimes they fail to see the true potential in some of those ideas. Those ideas ended up earning millions of dollars later on after their appearance on Shark Tank. Let's have a look at some of those ideas that Shark Tank failed to capitalize on there and then. Coffee Meets Bagels The three sisters came to the show with their idea of developing a dating app. They wanted to develop a different kind of dating app that would value quality over quantity, unlike other dating apps that would match by the quantity and would raise a hope that you match a perfect person. They knew their idea was unique and they demanded $500,000 for expanding the company. Mark Cuban offered them $30 million to buy the whole company. It was the richest offer ever made on that platform and guess what? The sisters outright rejected this offer because they knew these apps like Tinder are worth more than a billion dollars. They did outside funding for their expansion in the company. The app has already progressed with their appearance on the show and now the company has been raised to the worth of $600 million which is 20 times what the Sharks offered them previously. It is without a doubt a massive success for th your question. If I offered you $30 million for the company, would you take it? No. The Books Company. A guy, John, from Pittsburgh came on the show with his idea of delivering fresh flowers. He knew the flower businesses were ruined because the costs were too high and the flowers were not fresh. His idea was to remove the middlemen who ruined the quality of the product and deliver the best quality flowers. It was a refined way of delivering his product and everyone around him liked the idea. The Sharks, however, didn't believe in him and his ideas of the numbers that he gave, so they straight away rejected him. After the rejection, however, when one of the Sharks, Robert Herjavec, was getting married, he wanted flowers for the wedding and they were expensive from other places. So he ended up calling the guy John from the show and was ready to invest in his company, The Books Company. The company made $24 million afterwards and now keeps on growing. The Sharks may have rejected him once, but then realized the worth of his startup and made him flourish his business. I ordered today, it's my husband's birthday tomorrow. Do I get them tomorrow? We do not. It is six days to delivery. Proof Eyewear. The Sharks can get a hold of unique items, but sometimes they don't make the right calls when it comes to investing in them. Brooke, Tanner, and Taylor came to the show with their unique item, Proof Eyewear. These were one-of-a-kind handcrafted eyewear. They made glasses with wooden frames coming from very sustainable wood. They already got orders from common folk as well as celebrities like rappers. They wanted to make similar items from wood and other sustainable materials that would be nature-friendly and wouldn't cause harm to the environment. They were unsure of their target audience at first, but then they knew they could expand. To expand their business, they went to the Shark Tanks, who made a really low offer of $500,000. The brothers knew their item was worth more, and they rejected the offer. They decided to do it on their own, and the next day, their website had over a million views, and some other companies wanted to sell their items on it. Now they're making $1.5 million a year. A truly commendable feat. Sustainable woods available. As we have grown, we have added other eco-friendly frames from materials such as plant-based plastics and recycled skateboard decks. Echo Valley Meats. Dave Amon came on the show with his meat products to show the quality of meat he makes. No doubt he was an excellent chef and his need to invest was as low as $150,000. The Sharks thought that due to the presence of an already established brand Omaha, it's quite a big risk. They rejected the offer and gave him a tip to expand in the order mail. 
Due to his presence on the show, his business grew so much more and got so many more customers. Instead of being disheartened, he worked on the tip given by the Sharks, which helped in flourishing his business and his profits made a boom from $150,000 a year to $1.4 million. He came back after two years on the show and Mark Cuban was ready to invest in the business with whatever was demanded. Valley Meats. We specialize in retail, catering, and mail order. I've grown this company from two employees to 15 employees. Copa Divino. James Martin was running a company, Copa Divino, who made industrial wines and not very premium quality. The edge he had was the special plastic containers he made to carry the wine in. They were portable and can be resealed easily. He claimed that people buy from him because his wine is easier to carry. Kevin was interested in the business as he was already dealing in the wine business, but he made such a low offer. James rejected every offer he got from the Sharks and left the show. His decision was truly right as his sales went above and beyond making $5 million a year and later the sales went up to $12 million a year. The Sharks got to know about his success and called him on the show and made very low offers again. He didn't accept any of the offers and kept on sipping the wine he made and lastly gave double cheers to Kevin just to annoy him. I am going to go buy a thousand dollar bottle of wine tonight and I'm going to drink it because I'm weeping for the opportunity lost. Snap Code an app was developed by Gareth Gee called Scan, and even before he came to the show, he had $8 million already invested into his app. It was a brilliant app that he knew was worth millions of dollars. It was a scanning app that would help identify, find, and research various special items such as online deals of several items, etc. He even operated the app on the show. It was an easy and quick app. Gareth claimed his software to be worth $20 million and the Sharks disagreed and turned him down almost immediately. Later, Snapchat bought this app and all the technicalities along with it for $54 million and reconfigured it as the snap code for Snapchat users. You know how important that feature is. Now Garrett is living his luxury life with his family and traveling the world as he got a big profit from his one-time pitch in. Damon, have you heard of this company before? <laughs> yes, Mission Bell, great company. Then you're going to love this. Sell Helmet Mike and David are the co-founders of Cell Helmet that claim that their mobile cases can handle any kind of force and would protect the mobile phones at any cost. They also gave the guarantee that if the phone does indeed get broken with the case on it, they would fix it with a $50 handling fee. This was genuinely a good pitch, but the Sharks turned him down for whatever reason. Soon after they came on the show, they got so many offers and potential customers and business associates lined up. The wireless retailer Verizon decided to invest in Cell Helmet and also made a distributing deal that would make the product available in 15 stores in Pennsylvania. After this, 200 more stores in the United States were interested in keeping their product. The Sharks thought that the cases weren't that important and anyone could come up with such a product at a low cost. The other companies, on the other hand, knew the real value that came with it. 1,300 units were sold in under 24 hours online after the show was aired. This was a massive success for Cell Helmet. Are we saying that our cell helmet cases can withstand all kinds of crazy abuse? Well, Absolutely not. <laughs> that route wraps up this video, which we hope you guys found delightful. Do shout out your favorite moments in the comments down below while also smashing that like button and also giving us a subscribe so you can catch up on more videos like this one in the future. Also, do us a favor and watch those two other videos on your screen right now as they're really well worth your time. And with that, I'll be catching you guys later in another video.